Lady, go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. And we are here today to do for um, our Sagittarius, for our mask off a person past thoughts reading so we're gonna get into your person thoughts who's ever in your heart who's ever on your mind this is the messages that they would like to tell you they may have told you once before it may just be confirmation or you may find out something you did not know about your past person thoughts okay so we're going to get started and see what your past person wants to tell you Sagittarius Mask off, pressing past thoughts. What's going on? We're going to use my deck X True for your ass deck. These are my straight shooter, no chaser decks. Maybe some hard topics in here that we maybe um, don't discuss in our relationships that we need to discuss. So it's just kind of like an eye opening deck that, you know, messages become from either person in their relationship. It's just not one side. This is just energy. So. Some of these are hard topics and some of these are, you know, love messages as well. Okay, so let's see what your person has to say. We're going to cut the deck and get some messages. So I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are enjoying your holidays with your friends and family, those that you can see. And pray for those that you cannot see due to this coronavirus. It's just stopping the flow. Okay, let's get some messages. Holy Spirit, some messages from Sagittarius past person. Okay, that's one. We're gonna get two more. Let's get some more information, some more messages. Past person thoughts. What you want to tell Sag? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, it didn't go that far. <laughs> it didn't go that far. Good. <clears throat> All right, one more message. Okay. All right, Sag. I ain't, I ain't tell your person to calm down. They throwing my cards everywhere. Tell their energy to be cool. Be cool. They they anxious. It's like they they want you to know what's going on. They they ain't holding back at all. Okay. We finna see what's going on then. What's going on? What's going on? First message. Your past person is saying, I know you have me blocked. Mask off. I know you have me blocked. Message blocking active. Person you have called cannot be reached. So these are the messages that they hear when they call your phone. They're like, I know you got me blocked. Okay. I don't see the problem. If you don't want to talk, Sag, that's your prerogative. You know, you, you are in control of your own life. But I think this person is saying that they feel like you're trying to be sneaky and have them blocked. Maybe y'all have unfinished business or maybe there was not enough closure for this person and it's hard for them to move on. Maybe it was enough closure for you, but not for them. So they or they also I also pick up an energy of them um, being blocked is that they don't like the fact that they cannot get in touch with you when they need to or when they want to or they just want access they don't like the fact that they don't have that access anymore let's keep going mm. number two this one says you are the only one i ever loved oh so this goes along with this because they don't they don't know they don't like the fact that they don't have access because they love you. They have never had a love like yours before. So they are missing the connection deeply. Because the people here on the couch, they're like cozied up together and they're, they have their heads turned one another. It's a very intimate um, position of sitting. Like the man is turned in towards the woman and they're both, you know... It seems like they're at peace together. So this is how he remembers you guys at peace. He remembers you, you know, you guys sharing intimate moments, not necessarily sexual intimacy, like 
thinking together like maybe coming up with some plans to go hang out or maybe something as simple as sitting on the couch and watching a good movie because this is what this reminds me of just sitting and enjoying each other's company so that's why they feel appalled like you're the only one I ever love. I can't believe you decided to block me after all of this time. So I don't think that they realize the hurt they may have caused you, Sagittarius, for you even to get in the energy to block them. Because they feel really like overwhelmed with the thought of even being blocked. They don't even understand why. I feel like they're like, um, what's going on? You blocked me because of what? So they... They're really, they're looking for, for answers from you, Sagittarius. They want to know why. That's what I feel. Like, they, their energy is coming off really strong. Like, can you tell, can you even tell me why? But they can't talk to you because you have them blocked on all platforms. Telephone, text message, social media, email. You just don't want to talk, Sag. You're like, no. <laughs> What's the third message? They say, I wasn't ready. To put in the work for true love. So. I, I kind of feel like they told you this already. And you were disappointed Sagittarius. That's why you blocked them. This is one of the reasons why you blocked them. They, I keep on hearing. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I feel like they told you that they were not ready for this. Like they. They let it be known that they weren't ready. But and still, they still chose to stick around. And act as if. They were trying to work on themselves to be ready. But the whole time, they were still in the back of their mind. They still had the energy of, I'm not ready. So Sagittarius, Sagittarius understands that. So they're going to have to put up with whatever comes with me not being ready. Which is not fair at all. But they always say, when the person show you their true colors, you better believe them. Believe them, honey, because they telling they telling you the truth. This person say they weren't ready, then they weren't ready. But I mean, we all learn our lessons. <clears throat> and Sash, that's why they got blocked, because <laughs> they didn't they didn't really they may have told you it, but they also may have acted as if they wanted to try. They wanted to show you the same type of love that you were showing them, and then in the long run, they did not. Okay, let's clarify. I know you have me blocked. Holy Spirit, can you clarify? I know you have me blocked, please. Okay. We have... <laughs> we have... Um, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person. Boundary, still angry. So... They know that you're mad at them. And this is so funny because this says not today. The image is a person holding the phone away from them. Like, I don't want to hear it. And Sagittarius, you telling this person, like, I don't want to hear it. And they know that you do not want to talk to them. Like, you don't want to have anything to do with this person. I can't even say reconciliation or anything with this one because it's like, no, you're like, not today. I'm not doing it. And this person knows that. They're still they're acting as if they don't know why. Or they're having that moment of like, well, what did I do? They're they're acting like they don't understand the underlining issue of why you don't want to talk to them. Or even, you know, give them an explanation or even be friends with them. They're like, Well, what's going on? What did I do that was so bad? They just they don't get it. They don't understand not being ready to put the work in, in a relationship can cause a lot of unforeseen issues because you're not giving to the person like they're giving to you. So there's no balance in the situation. Let's clarify the second card. You are the only one I ever loved. What's going on with this? Okay. You are the only one I ever loved clarified by healthy choices. And this says, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So they were the happiest when they were with you. They knew that you were good for them. They knew that you brought love and life into the situation. You showed them how to love themselves, first of all. And you gave unto them freely. Like you gave your love without condition. And they are aware of that and they care for you dearly for that. 
but they did not do that in return. But their thoughts are saying that they know they should have. But with them knowing that they should have does not change the fact that they did not. But they did not know how to express it. They did not know how to share it equally. They And then it doesn't even seem as if they were trying to learn. Because the reason that that's coming across that energy is because they're not trying to grow. They They were aware that they were not ready. But at the same time. They was not trying to grow and learn in the situation. They was just like, okay, I see you doing this because you care about me, but I'm not going to reciprocate because I already told you I wasn't ready. So instead of them trying to work with you to get ready, they just was lazy and was like, ah, uh, no, not today, maybe tomorrow. And that's what got their ass blocked. <laughs> okay. Um, I wasn't ready to put in the work for true love. Let's see. Okay. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So now they have came to the realization that, okay, I missed out. So the only thing that they have to remember you by is the photos. They know they wasn't ready for true love, but now that you're gone, they're missing you. They're, they are reminiscing about the good times you had, and they want to make new memories with you. But are they ready to apply the, the healthy choices that you showed them to a reconciliation of you coming back in union with this person? Are they ready to apply those choices and apply that love that you need to be satisfied are they willing to you know give and take with you equally in all matters of the heart to make this relationship strong mm. but i kind of feel an energy of they want to but they have a laziness about them. It's like a little laziness energy that I feel over this over this reading. It's a little lazy because you did everything, Sagittarius. So you may you if you do decide to reconcile with this person because they want to come back. If you do realize if you do want to reconcile with this person and you do, I think you need to fall back and let them show you what they can do. Because you've already showed them what you're capable of. I think it is definitely their turn for them to show you what they can do i'm not saying don't give at all i'm saying give less like allow them to come into the situation and give a little more to show and, and to see if they've changed if they worked on themselves a little bit so this is something that you will have to make the decision about if you want to go back down um that route with them to see if they have grown See if they've grown a little bit because their messages aren't too bad but the energy i'm feeling is lazy in a relationship like they get complacent from the start because you were so loving and so caring that they just got so they got really really comfortable in the relationship and getting like that being comfortable is one thing but not doing nothing is two different things but when you put those both things together that can end up really hurting the other person because you're putting all the weight and the other person is carrying the relationship, which is unfair. So if you're going to carry the relationship, Sagittarius, if this person comes back, it may not be a positive choice for you. But if that's the type of weight you like, then go for it. But if you want to see if somebody really cares, you pull your energy back a little bit and let them show you that they care too. And if it's really meant to be, you wouldn't even have to pull your energy back. You guys will give freely to one another. So that is more of the appropriate way to say that, that you guys should give freely to one another. Okay? Whew. But yeah, this person has a, a lazy energy. So... I hope you enjoyed your reading, your mask off, person past thoughts, Leo. And thank you for stopping by. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.